My name is Nathalie Loiseau, and I'm the chair of the Subcommittee on Security and Defense of the European Parliament. Yes, Nathalie Loiseau, I'm the European Commissioner for the European Parliament. I came here with a delegation. We are six members of the European Parliament from different nationalities and different political groups. We came to express our support for Armenia. First, our support First, our support uh, as regards the uh, democratic uh, process in Armenia, the reforms, uh, and all the positive changes that we have witnessed for several years. Our support for the peace efforts uh, made by Armenia, uh, which is fully committed to achieve a sustainable peace with uh, its neighbor Azerbaijan. We wanted to assess the situation by ourselves and to see how the EU mission in Armenia is performing now that it's been here for approximately four months. Yesterday we had official meetings in Yerevan. We met with the Prime Minister, with the uh, Deputy Foreign Minister, the Deputy Defence Minister, the Speaker of the Parliament and the uh, responsible for the National Security Council. Today we went to Goris. We met with the Governor of Sunik and with the Mayor of Goris. We visited people uh, impacted by uh, the war in Nagorno-Karabakh and the blockade of the Lachin Corridor. We saw them uh, thanks to the uh, NGO people in need, which is helping them. And which is supported by the European Union. And we went near to the uh, entry of the uh, Lachin Corridor to see with our own eyes the complete an illegal blockade of the Lachin Corridor exercised by uh, Azerbaijan. Uh, we uh, heard of an increased number of incident, military incidents targeting uh, the sovereign territory of Armenia we heard about the incident in Iraq targeting civilians. We heard about the incident uh, at the entrance of the uh, Lachin Corridor with an attempt to raise a, an Azeri flag on the other side of the bridge. And I would like to express a strong message. Yes, As much as Armenia is fully committed to peace, 
թեև եւ որքանով որ հայաստանը ամբողջապես նվիրված է խաղաղությանը Azerbaijan has to show evidence that it is committed to peace as well Ադրբեջանը պարտավոր է ապացույցներ ներկայացնել առայն որ ինքնել է նվիրված խաղաղությանը The European Union uh, is uh, doing its best efforts uh, to uh, facilitate contacts between leaders of Azerbaijan and uh, Armenia. European Union is lavagun jankerne nerdenum borpisi dyuratsni kontaktnere Hayastani va Azerbaijani rekavortsyan michev. The last contact took place uh, in Kisino in Moldova. Uh, in the presence of the president of the European Council, the French president and the German chancellor. And more contacts are scheduled. We do our best efforts to uh, make sure that the, the tension gets lower. And the presence of the EU monitor mission in Armenia should also uh, help lower the tensions. But as you know, you need only one country to start a war. You need the, the goodwill of two countries to stop it. And it's real time that uh, a sustainable peace is achieved. And I call, can only reiterate the position of the European Parliament. The blockade of the Lachin corridor is illegal and has to stop. The rights uh, and the well-being of Armenian people of Nagorno-Karabakh have to be protected. The sovereignty and the integrity of Armenia has to be respected. And of course I will go back to Brussels uh, with uh, this message and testifying of what we have seen and heard here in Armenia. One last thing that I wanted to say before answering your questions, as the blockade of the Lachin corridor is illegal, I have a message for the uh, European ambassadors in Baku. Yes, Naev Ugarzen Harum Bakum, Havatagar Mavats, Europakan, Hafez Pandarin. In case they would be invited by uh, authorities of Azerbaijan to visit the uh, illegal checkpoint. Yete Azerbaijan and Iran Salaviri, Aitzel, Aporini, Terakaivats, Ansaketa. They should refrain from going. And be consistent with the decision of the International Court of Justice. Thank you.